Hello again, this is Dr. Jeff from the Midwest Disc Institute here in Chipchuan, Indiana, about 50 minutes east of South Bend, Notre Dame. So if everyone knows of Notre Dame, the university here in Indiana, we're about 50 minutes east of the University of Notre Dame. I want to wish everybody a good day. Hope that you're doing well. And the first thing I want to do is thank God for this information that I've been given. I want to thank God for the information uh, that I'm going to share with you. I want to thank God for the ability to share this with you today. And for all those researchers who are doing spine research, uh, this is just incredible stuff. Um, I'm looking at stuff back from 2013 today. We're going to share with you three ways to reverse degenerative disc disease and also prevent it. The same way you reverse it, you can prevent it. Or I should say, the same way you use to prevent degenerative disc disease, you can reverse it for the most part. So there are three ways to do that. Again, I'm Dr. Jeff from the Midwest Disc Institute here in Shipchuana, Indiana. Very happy to be with you. Thank God that we're here sharing this information with you. So let's get into it. There are three ways that you can prevent degenerative disc disease, but there's also three ways to reverse it. Here's an interesting fact. Again, I'm reading to you. I, I took a course last night, spent an hour and a half uh, reviewing some information, learned an interesting fact. Here it is. 50 to 60% of teenagers have had reported through MRI the beginnings of a degenerative disc. Why? Spinal misalignment. Listen, we all know that structure, any type of structure of a building, any type of structure of a car, of a buggy, uh, that's why I'm mostly, you know, buggies, cars, buildings, you know, barns, houses, apartment buildings, the structure matters. And if there's something wrong with the structure, then the function becomes wrong, it doesn't work right. So the structure, the alignment of your spine matters. Right? The alignment of your spine matters. That's why in our office we take x-rays. We want to look at the alignment of your spine because proper alignment allows for proper disc function. Non-proper alignment, bones that have shifted out of their normal position will cause pressure on discs to begin as young as age 13. 50 to 60% of teenagers show degenerative disc disease as a beginning stage. So what that means is we can prevent it as young as teenage by doing a couple things. And the first thing is taking what's called chondroitin sulfate. Chondroitin sulfate or a glycose aminoglycan. And in our office, we use a very high quality product, okay? very high quality product called Arthrosoothe. And for those that are watching here in my reception area, you can ask the front desk, it's sitting right there. Arthrosoothe is what we use. It's called a glycosaminoglycan. It is made up of what's called chondroitin sulfate. I know there is chondroitin sulfate and glucosamine sulfate, but I'm gonna tell you in the research that I'm referencing, chondroitin sulfate showed to be the number one type of sulfate that sulfate portion, chondroitin sulfate, attaches to water, attaches to mineral, minerals and nutrients that get brought into the disc. And through research, the number one way to help regenerate disc tissue is by using chondroitin sulfate and not just any chondroitin sulfate. They found that New Zealand green lip muscle chondroitin sulfate from their shells is the number one way to help regenerate a disc as well as help decrease disc pain. Green lipped mussels from New Zealand. Now, if you have a shellfish allergy, obviously it's not going to work. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that, right? So we'll talk other options at some other point. But right now, as long as you don't have a shellfish allergy, the number one way to help regenerate a disc is chondroitin sulfate from green lip muscles. And in our office, if you're watching this at our reception area, 
The number one thing that we use is called Arthro Soothe. It is a very high quality product. You can pick it up right at the front desk. Now, the thing is, though, we can take all the chondroitin sulfate we want. But how do we get it into the disc? See, the disc, your disc is like a water balloon that sits in between the bones, but it has no direct, wa uh, no direct blood supply. So you cannot get nutrients in directly from blood vessels. And it actually occurs, the way that your disc will get nutrients is through a pumping effect of the vertebra above and below, like a CPR. So when you bend, you twist, you turn, you move, your bones, they shift and they move and they pump. And they pump waste out of the disc. And then when the, when the, the bones open up, they suck nutrients in. They, they provide nutrients from the blood vessels in the bones above and below the discs. And so we have to have a pumping effect, right? We call that oscillation. Now, in our office, we do that a couple ways. Number one, we have IDD therapy that we use. We have very specific technology and uh, instruments that allow us for any of our patients who have severe degenerative discs to pump specifically at a level. And as we pump, the chondroitin sulfate that you ingest, as we pump or oscillate, starts getting put back into the disc, number one. Number two, we have some tables that separate in our office. And when we pump the tables, as well, not our IDT tables, but our regular chiropractic tables, we can pump nutrients into the disc. And the last, the last way to help a degenerative disc become normal and healthy again, as best way as possible, or to prevent degenerative disc disease for you in the future, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, directly from research, the chiropractic adjustment. They did some research in the chiropractic adjustment and they discovered that under MRI, one, one adjustment under MRI at the lumbar one, two, lumbar three, four, and lumbar five S1 disc, with one chiropractic treatment, they saw increased inflow of water into the disc under T2 MRI. And yes, we use MRI in our office if we think you have a disc injury. So it's quite simple. To regenerate an unhealthy disc is the same way we can prevent that disc from degenerating. So I'm going to say get adjusted early, get adjusted often. 50 to 60% of teenagers will start to show degenerative disc disease because their spine's out of alignment. So the way to prevent it in the future is to have your kids checked. Have yourself adjusted, your spouse, your friends, your family, if you want to have a healthy spine in the future. So the three ways we learned today and what we do at the Midwest Disc Institute to help regenerate a degenerative disc or help prevent it. Number one, chondroitin sulfate, glycosaminoglycan, the number one way in research to help naturally bring nutrients back into the disc and decrease pain, glycosaminoglycan, chondroitin sulfate green lipped muscles from New Zealand. We use a product right here in our office called Arthro Soothe. So it is a great way to prevent as well as help regenerate tissue. If you're watching this at the front desk, ask the front desk. If you're watching this in my reception area, ask the front desk. They'll show you right where our Arthro Soothe product is. High quality product, fantastic. Can only be gotten in the doctor's office like ours. Second way, okay, oscillation or movement, specific movement of the bones, like CPR. The bones have to move like CPR. And in our office, we use technology called IDD therapy. We have some very specific chiropractic tables that help us do that, okay? So in our office, we use oscillation to bring nutrients back into the disc, the pumping effect. And lastly, the very specific chiropractic adjustment. This is Dr. Jeff from the Midwest Disc Institute. If you have any questions, please email me at drjeff at midwestdiscinstitute.com. D-R-J-E-F-F -F at midwestdiscinstitute.com. It has been a pleasure speaking with you today. If you have any questions, email me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a fantastic day.